Hello, social media friends and family. Here we are on a beautiful Sunday morning. I get the opportunity to have a chit chat with uh, Dr. Pauline Crawford Ops, author of Magical Conversations. And she is one of the featured speakers for our Monks, our uh, Mystics, Monks, Sages, and Rock and Rollers Conference where science meets spirit. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody there. And today I wanted to meet up with her to talk a little bit more about her gender dynamics map and um, for her to share what we're all going to be learning about uh, when we see her on stage on June uh, 14. So welcome, Dr. Pauline. Hi there, Adriana. It's wonderful to be here. And it is a beautiful Sunday morning. It is. Yeah. And um, I'm really excited about sharing with our audience on June the 14th some real tangible ways to communicate with each other via the Gender Dynamics map. Because it's, uh, it's a passion of mine and I designed it to help me to help others. Mm -hmm. And that's always the best way, isn't it? Yes, it is. And I love um, I love learning more because every time that you explain it, I, I learn just a little. There's so many components of it. So I, I've, I've always learned every time that you've shared it. And the reason why I want the audience to see is because I really want them to be prepared when they're at the event in June um, to understand a, a more in depth. And um, because that's the, the entire conference is going to be about understanding energy better and then how it uh, is combined with science and how the uh, research now shows that, you know, this is this stuff is in fact happening. A lot of times we don't see energy, obviously, but um, yeah. we are tapping into it with our bodies. And I think that you do a wonderful job at explaining it. So share a little bit more about the map and then what people can expect that day. Okay. So um i like to actually draw things out so i created literally a map to help me explain why i felt that i was what i call a masculine minded female mm -hmm. so when i was looking at that i thought well let's use some shapes in order to illustrate it and i know in talking to many many men and women uh, men always say that they're very straightforward and women always agree and that women are very complex. So I actually created a map by literally putting a square for men, which had lots of boxes in it. Mm -hmm. So visualize that and you'll see this on the screen. And then a circle for women with lots of circles in it. Mm -hmm. And almost that's some of the fundamental aspects of the way we flow or we relate to each other. So men tend to work very much in a straight line process and they think in, dare I say, in topic boxes. And there was this great statement that, you know, men also have a box where there's absolutely nothing in it. Now, for women watching this and hopefully laughing, women are thinking and feeling all the time. And that's because we, we are in this circle, we're in this uh, menstrual cycle, this hormonal, wonderful, nurturing circle of life. But we need to respect men are in that square. So in my mind, I needed to understand if there were different types of men and different types of women, how could we visualize this? So literally, and you see it on the screen, I put a box, a square with squares in it and a circle with circles in it. Now this is not about uh, identity. It's very simply at the beginning, it's about biology. So the, the square is for male and the female is in the circle. So if you like, there's an M in the square and there's an F in the female. So visualize that and remember that. So if you're a female, then you're in that circle. Um, and if you're, this is not about sexual orientation, but if you were choosing to be moving from in the transit, uh, you know, for a, a transsexual, they would just be moving from M to F. So it's very fundamental and that we also know we have preferences on right and left brain mm -hmm. and that often we talk about the left brain as being masculine and the, the right brain is feminine mm -hmm. but what I did with the square and the circle is to put another circle around the whole thing so it's very much about inclusivity that as human beings we are somewhere on either shape and we can embrace that with a complete circuit so I was looking at body shapes this is where it all started when I was an image consultant and I observed that the more 
straight line body shape and I will explain this more on June the 14th but essentially looking at bone structure and stance and we'll, we'll actually do this in the room that you could see the straighter line people stood straighter more uh, directional in their approach and that the softer people were more softer in their approach and again we'll, we'll go into this more on the day but if you think about the variance between a masculine minded male and a feminine minded male we can see the difference in the way they stand but also the way they talk to us so as women we may observe that some men are more able to chat with us they're more what I'd call feelings men yeah. and it's not that the masculine minded male is not feeling but he tends to be more action oriented mm -hmm. so all men are very task focused but there's that difference between the two now when I started looking at women who as you remember are all in the circle I thought well there's there's almost more variance between the masculine minded woman and the feminine minded woman but that's because we're more complex but it still became apparent to me that the 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 straight aligned fit physique was straight aligned in their behavior within this circle okay. and the feminine minded females were more nurturing and softer mm -hmm. and maybe more intuitive although all women are intuitive now this is where it gets a little bit complex but on the day in the afternoon we will when i speak to you all we will see it in reality and we'll see it in each other so by looking at each other and, and getting that feeling of the energy and not getting too stuck on stereotypes and biases that we may have about how women or men should be. We will actually explore these variants and it will give us, I hope it will give you an aha in the room about, oh my God, I never realized that you were different. I thought we were I, all just women. Yeah, I had that aha when I met um, with you at Tivoli for coffee, which is my favorite spot in Las Vegas, if you know me. And um, I remember you sharing the map and I'm like, oh, so I, I, I was curious, were you able to tell if, what, what type I was when you met me, when we met up for coffee? Yes, and, and I think because because I'm the designer of the map, so I know where my location is, and this is the clarity we will get on the day, is knowing where you are to start with. It's not necessarily just one point, but it's it's a range. Um, and I would see that you have a strong energy, if you, and that could be called masculine, but also you've got a very strong feminine. And I think I see you in the center of the range. Mm -hmm. And actually, if you look at your face, your face is very balanced. So what I mean by that is your forehead and this part and this part are actually fairly equal. <laughs> Whereas oh, mine, yeah. mine is a bit shorter and squarer. Oh, and it's that subtlety. In fact, there's there's so much that we can see from our face wow. that tells us about the story of the person's behavior. It's absolutely fascinating. Oh wow. Um, well, I can't wait to uh, have you share more in detail at the, at the Yeah. So as we explore each other, we will uh, help to understand that the energy we have as women and the energy men have as men is subtly different mm -hmm. and complementary. And then within the range, we get to understand each other. The goal is how we come together and how we collaborate and how we contribute. So that's really important. The, the map and the framework is is to give us that aha about, oh yes, this is where I start. And then it gives us the ability to see other people. Then we can start tracking how we relate to each other. Yeah, I was really, uh, I, I did have an aha moment when you showed me and I was like, oh, that's why men behave that way towards me. Or, oh, that's why I didn't get along with so-and-so person at work, right? Or, Oh, that's why this person, and then I it just, I clued in and I was like, oh, that would have been really useful 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it is, and it, it's, it's even more important today than 10 years ago because more and more of us are out there on the playing field of business and life. And of course, women bring life to business because we are in many ways more attached to our mm -hmm. nurturing son, our children, our loved ones, our elderly parents. It's not that men aren't, but there's a different core. 
And therefore, now we're all out there on the playing field, we need to understand each other even better. Yes, I, I really, um, it, it helped me, not just having the aha moment, but it helped me have more compassion towards men who are MMs. And yes. I was like, wow, okay, I understand that. And then for the very first time, I was able not to put someone in a little box or to identify someone, but I was able to understand, oh, this is why this behavior is this way. Yes. Ah, I get it. And then it really opened up for um, forgiveness. And it opened yes. up for understanding and then just saying, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. So that's that's why I find your, your work fascinating. And I really believe that you're just the perfect fit with everyone at the conference because you bring this really unique piece and uh, really unique work to uh, the, this broader uh, idea that we should all, not, not that we should, I don't like to use that word, but that we, we can all learn to uh, communicate uh, in a, a more loving way or become yes. more clear that um, and I think it's really important because I often talk about valuing differences but it's really understanding that we're not going to smooth all the differences into one blob mm -hmm. we're actually going to value the differences and that's where the magic is yes. is that if we don't understand differences it becomes difficult mm -hmm. and then we walk away and then we don't have any relationships that's not right so we don't necessarily we can't necessarily um, know exactly anybody else's point of view, but we can understand the difference. Yes. That's the main thing. Everything starts with understanding. So for me, yeah. the aha moment was a door was open. Thank you. You opened the door for me. And because um, I had been knocking for a long time and then you opened it. And then I was like, oh, I understand. So it starts everything for us to get to that point where we all um, crave to be is by understanding. Yes. And then the heart opens, and then we are, com you know, uh, understand. Oh, there is a place for this individual, maybe at work. And I'm just giving work references because this is where I had my mo most of my um, my my opportunities. Um, and then I was able to feel more and be more open because I understood what was going on. So that's again why I find your work really fascinating, and I appreciate you for it. So yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So I will be uh, putting all the links for Dr. Pauline below. Check them out um, and definitely uh, look her up, find out more about her. Um, even before you get to the conference, uh, she does a lot of consulting, a lot of training for big corporations and works with C-level executives. And she would love to work with you. Um, I will be, like I said, posting everything down uh, here and uh, check us out June 14th for the Mystics, Monks, Sages, and Rock and Rollers Conference where science meets spirit. Thank you so much, Dr. Pauline. Thank you, Adriana. It's a wonderful, wonderful. I'm dying to get to June the 14th and see you all. Thank you. Talk to you soon.